Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to give you a beginner's guide to LibreOffice Calc 6 basic formulas. So if we go ahead and open up LibreOffice Calc we're going to have this blank spreadsheet. I just want to show you some basic formulas and get you to understand how formulas work on a basic concept. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here and if you're not that familiar with spreadsheets, then you can go to my YouTube channel and check out some of my tutorials for, you know, how I explain how spreadsheets really work. But we're just going to look at some basic uh, tips for some basic formulas. So, as you probably understand, spreadsheets are all about storing data. So let's get some data in here. So let's say in this first column, I'm going to put in, uh, let's say, a date. And in the second column, I'm going to put in cost type and in the third column I'm going to put in cost so we want some dates in here so I'm going to use let's say the first of the first 2018 let's do the first of the 10th so we've got one date in here I'm going to use the series filling to fill some more dates so we've got 17 let's do 28 in 19 20 so we've got 20 dates in here and then Let's put in a cost type. Let's call this uh, cost description will be better. So let's say wages, travel cost, So we've got some basic um, costs here um, and let's just assume that these costs repeat so let's put some wages in here so let's say we paid in fact the first thing we do is we'll click on this column here C we're going to right click and we're going to format these cells and we're going to format them to a currency value and I'm going to default it to GDP British pounds because we want all of these cells here to be in uh, currency value so let's say we paid at £2,000 in wages. Let's say that uh, really these should be month, month here, not really days. So let's get rid of this. Let's put in here month. Uh, and then we put in January. And then we series fill for 12, October, November, December. So we've got 12 months here. This is a bit better, it's more logical. Because you wouldn't pay out wages every day, you'll pay at the end, end of every month. So we can say these are monthly uh, monthly costs. Um, so let's think about this a little bit more. Probably what we'll do is we'll get rid of these two here. We'll make this a bit more logical, right? So we'll take wages and we'll put it here. We'll take travel cost and put that there. Internet, phone. And office rent so let's delete this now we've got our costs going across the top this is more logical because we're gonna have one of these costs for each one of these months uh, and let's highlight all of these I'm highlighting all of these columns I'm gonna right click here and format cell and we'll set this to currency GDP default so all of these values in here will now be in pounds so let's say wages here, 2,000. We'll copy this down a few times. And then let's say we took on an extra member of staff or these costs increased throughout the year. And we'll get to December. Let's see, in fact save this. So let's call this example spreadsheet. So we should always save our documents. I've saved this document now. So travel costs, so I'm putting in this data. So after we've got this data in the system, we can use formulas to make calculations. Um, we'll say our internet is pretty static, cost 25.
so we've got some data in here the first the first layout was a bit wrong well I've, I've actually changed it on the fly um it wasn't wrong i just changed it i think this is a better way to lay out information so you're not feeling familiar with spreadsheets really all we've got is the months down the side here january representing one year and then across the top we've got different types of costs we could have had more here as well but this is just a basic example and in each one we, we've got the values that we paid out on a given month <clears throat> so <coughs> using formulas we could ask ourselves a few different questions so let's ask ourselves the first question how much did we spend in a whole year on wages so how can we work that out quite easily using this spreadsheet so we could sit here with a calculator and add all of these up we could do that or we could click on this cell here this blank cell and we could drag all the way up highlighting so i'm left clicking and dragging to highlight that information in theory we don't really need to do that so we could just click down here on this cell and then use the auto sum tool here sum when I click that, you can see the software recognizes that these are all the values. This is actually a title and it's drawn this blue box around it and it's saying the sum. So the sum of the, the value of this cell will be all the values between B2. So this is column B and this is row two. So this cell right here is B2 all the way down to B13, column B and then row 13, this cell here. So it's gonna add all of these values together. Once we once it's selected, we just simply hit the enter key and it gives us a grand total. We spent, we can make this bold, we spent 31,500 in um, wages. Now we could do that for each one of these, but the quicker way to do that is to select all of these. So we select all four and then we can do the sum tool here and it will calculate them straight away for us. So now we can highlight all of these. Let's... Uh, make them bold so now we've got the wages the total travel cost the total internet the phone bill and the office rent so we've got total values for the whole year now you might ask yourself a question well how much did we spend in total for all of this combined together so we can click on this cell now right here and we can highlight with our mouse and drag across and we can use the sum tool again and now we get a grand total and we can put an underscore underneath that to represent that it's a grand total but you could highlight it a different color let's highlight it we can maybe highlight it yellow for example and make all of these ones here let's say uh like this green color right now the other question you might ask yourself is how much did we spend in a given month so how much did we spend just in january so we can click here and drag across and we can use the sum tool and now we've got a sum for just that month of January we spent three thousand and seventy pounds let's make that bold now how do we get the values for February March and so forth what we can do I'll zoom in a little bit more there's a little black box in the bottom right hand corner here you can see that where my mouse is as I move over it turns into a cross if we click on that and hold down the mouse button and drag all the way down, it will calculate each one of these rows. So if we were to click on, let's say this one here, if we look at the formula, it says sum or the sum equals B6 to F6. So B6 is here and F6 is here. So it's adding all of these values together. The other way to check that is to double click on the actual cell if you double click it will show you and it will actually highlight what data it's calculating or what fields it's calculating here you can see it's highlighted it in blue to get out of there you can either click really you should just actually hit the escape key on your keyboard so hit the escape key and that will come out of there so if we double click on this one we can see that it's using that to calculate this particular cell so here you can see some basic um uh calculations of some data in here um, now you can actually do some custom figures for example let's say down here I wanted to um, have a cost which was only related to the internet and the phone calls for example yeah so we can call that as like media cost so 
um, if, for example, if I type in here, media cost, and we want to calculate what did we spend on internet and phone in January, we could copy all of these, in fact. What we could do here is paste this here, copy all of these, and paste them down to here, right? So now we've got some more data that we're going to put in. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Um, so in effect, what we're doing is we're creating a new title. It's no longer based just on the month. It's really the month, but media cost related only. So I could click here and then I could do the sum tool, right? So I could click on this sum tool and then it's going to ask me a question. What is it I want to sum? And I want to sum the internet. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and I want to sum the phone bill here. These two together. And I'm going to hit the enter key and the internet plus the phone here equals 45 right here. Now in theory, I should be able to drag down. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Let's try. Um, one, two, three, four. So if we go down four. Yeah. So you can see April came out at 100. This is 45. And then all of a sudden it went from 45 to 55, which equals 100, right? And the next one is 45 and 5. So this next cell should equal 50. So I'm going to click here and drag down, and it's 50. And we can keep clicking and dragging all the way down. And now we've got just the media costs. So just the cost related to telephone. Uh, media costs, we could do something like, uh, where is it? internet cost and phone. So that will be the title for this data here. So that's how you can pick specific values and generate um, cost based on specific selections. So if we were to double click on this cell here, this 100, it will highlight that it used these two fields only to generate that particular value. So that's some basic understanding of how formulas work. There are some really more complicated ones, more complex ones where you can calculate percentages, for example. So we may, let's say, let's say we've got, let's, let's give you another example over here, right? So let's say um, we have a, a figure, which is 120 pounds. So here's 120 pounds, and we want to work out um, the VAT from that, right? Well, let's let's put in a hundred here, one hundred, and we want to work out what is the the VAT going to be of a hundred pounds. So we could take this cell, so we could say um, we could just do equals, and then we can click on this cell, F two times zero point two, and hit enter, and that gives us twenty pounds. So really what this is saying is this cell here give me 20% of that value. And then if we want to work out, so this is X VAT, this is VAT, and then this is Inc VAT. So this is excluding that, this is the VAT amount. <coughs> and then this will be the... Uh, including VAT. Now there's two ways we can do that. We can just drag across and then use our sum tool and then we'll get 120 pound. So that's basically how you can calculate that quite easily. So if we were to put some other figures in here, just some random ones like 245, 300, or let's say 400, and it doesn't matter what the values are. We'll just hit some random, let's not go that high. So if I gave you all of these values and said to you now, tell me what the VAT amount is going to be and what the including VAT is going to be, I can just drag down now and I'll get all the VAT amounts and I can drag down here and I'll get all the VAT, uh, the, the, the amount including the VAT. So that's how you can use formulas. You can see it's quite powerful, right? You can calculate, do quite complex calculations. Even though these are not very complicated, you can do quick calculations um, using... Uh, Spreadsheets. Now imagine if I open up my calculator and I could do something like 100 times 0 0.2 equals 20 
plus the 100 equals 120. So I would have just calculated this row here. But that, that's taken me a bit of effort. Um, using the spreadsheet, I can calculate hundreds of rows of data very, very quickly. So this is really a beginner's tutorial, so I'm not going to go too in-depth. I'm probably going to leave it here now, so you can go, now go and experiment, generate some data, and work out how to calculate all of your your grand totals here, how to get your grand total at the end of the year, how you can calculate VAT, and how you can pinpoint specific data and get calculations this way as well. And go and experiment, have a play around. Uh, you can manipulate this formula here. So if you know VAT in the UK is 20% uh, at present, but at one point it was 15%, right? So you can manipulate this formula uh, to give you 15%. I believe that will be right. Yeah. So that will be 15% now. Or you could do 17.5. And that's giving us an error. It's 170. There you go. So that would be 17.5% because VAT was 17.5 at one point as well. So 0 0.175 is 17.5% of this value. That's how you calculate the time, 0 0.175. Let's set it back to 20. And then that will be our correct value at present. VAT is at 20%. So that's how you calculate that. This becomes really useful if you're doing spreadsheets and you need to track invoices or track payments or work out calculations for VAT that you're charging your customers, then that can become a very uh, valuable formula. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is a, just a basic tutorial. I'm gonna be doing some more advanced tutorials on how to use LibreOffice Calc spreadsheets. This is version six I'm using, so I'm using the latest version. Do go and check my YouTube channel. I've got loads of tutorials on LibreOffice there as well, and also OpenOffice and Microsoft Excel. So go and have a look um, and see if you can find some useful tutorials there as well. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.